Donny, this isn't really related, but so you wouldn't be into the drink at all. You're in the wrong country. I do drink. <laughs> I do drink. Um, I try to not drink that often. So during Christmas and New Year's, we drank on a couple of occasions. Mm. Um, usually I try to drink maybe I have one day where I drink every couple of months. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. So you have a, you have a balance to it. It's not you're not a fucking addict like, yeah. No, so I don't like. I like. I would like to. I would like to have one day where I drink. When I say drink, it's like either three beers or two or three gin tonics. I never get completely pissed. It's like oh, yeah. once every two to three months because people completely underestimate the damage alcohol does to your brain. And this is not about preaching. It's about. The, the, it's not even about. See, people are always like, "Oh, long term health. I don't care if I die at seventy or 90. It's not about that, you idiot. It's about the fact that. Do you ever wonder, people are like, David, why do you have such energy? It's like, no, I don't, didn't drink coffee. No, you can, part of the reason, and I'm extroverted. So this is also my natural communication style because my mother, who's a nurse, she's very much like that. So this is the, the, the wildness that comes from my mother. Okay, so I blame her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can be an introvert or an extrovert, but you can still have high levels of energy independent of your natural personality type. But Energy comes from going to the sauna three times a week, going to the gym three times a week, right? Having something in your life you're actually excited about, having high quality relationships, you know, don't, not drinking. People don't even realize how much alcohol lessens their energy levels on a weekly basis. If you drink two times a week, I would, from my bro science opinion, predict that that lessens your energy levels by at least 20%. Do you think, yeah? A hundred percent, dude, hundred percent. I know for a fact when I do drink, Jesus Christ, like, I always wondered for a large period of time, but why, are, why do people have so little energy? Well, yeah. it's partially due, it's largely due to their habits. And alcohol, look, why do men drink alcohol when they go out? Part, partially, what do men do? They start hugging other dudes, don't they? Right? Yeah. Now, but isn't it interesting? Like, I hug my friends all the time. I don't need alcohol for that. We all have a need for love and connection. But if, you, if you're not confident, you feel you're going to get judged for it, for a genuine expression of love, like, because it is love to your bros, right? Not in a homosexual way, not that there's anything wrong with that, but yeah. just in a, just in a, it, it is a form of love and connection. And if you feel like you can't get that, that's p- part of the reason that people completely underestimate why people drink alcohol. They want that affection. And then they can blame it on the alcohol. Oh, I was just pissed. And then the next day, they yeah. can pretend to be cool. Then the next day, they can pretend to be too cool for school, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, let me tell you something with alcohol. If you go out at a night out, does it give you confidence? Yes. But the problem is your, your communication and calibration skills decrease at the end of the night. If it's 2 a.m., if the nightclubs were fucking open, <laughs> if it's 2 a.m. and you and I are out and you're drunk and you're doing, you, you got a good confidence uh, at the beginning of the night, who's going to win at the end of the night? Me, because I haven't had a single drink. When I go out, be it with clients or with friends, zero alcohol. You're not allowed to drink alcohol. We eat walnuts and we drink green tea on a night out. Zero alcohol because you have to be able to develop communication skills that like and confidence where you can just move the venue where you can literally rock the room you can be the center of attention of the entire room and have people women men around you uh, without alcohol and i'm not telling you to never drink just when you go out when you're out first of all reduce it for your energy levels and second you shouldn't be dependent on it for the sake of confidence drink alcohol as an enjoyable experience if you're on a date yeah, have a drink or two, no problem. Mm. But if you rely on it for confidence and you've got to be radically honest with yourself, understand that is pussy behavior, cut <laughs> it out, yeah. answer the three questions, build confidence and become a fucking man. But you know what? I think it is like you say pussy behavior, but I think it is like one thing what it does is the fear of rejection you talked about earlier, it fucking disappears when you put in drink into yourself. And it is true. And you, you see a girl over the bar and look, lads should do when they're sober, but look, that's just the way. And I think Irish people want that as well. And look, not, not Irish people, everyone in the world probably does this as well. But see a girl in the bar to say, Jesus, right, I've, I'll get a few drinks in myself, then I'll have the confidence. And maybe then, yeah, and as you said, like, oh, I was pissed. At least you have that fallback excuse. But like, I don't know, I think, um, and as well as the Irish, like, I don't think we drink for any particular reason. I think we're just alcoholics just generally. I, I don't even think, you, you're probably, you are right in a lot of the stuff you say, but I think, um, face value we just love drink and i don't think um, psychologically it's funny everybody does man i'm from germany like people there as well i don't think irish people are more alcoholics than germans already yeah or would the germans be alcoholics as well yeah the world around the world is the world is an alcoholic 